Hi and welcome to my Life on Islands COVID edition. Um, I've actually been still traveling and to be frank kind of trapped out here in the islands. Um, I thought I'd do a few segments on basically sort of the implications of that for several issues that <laughs> a lot of small islands face. Um, I just waited a little bit because living it out here has been a little rough. Um, so COVID and transportation. Um, so, for example, I've been stuck here and that's been because a lot of flights have been canceled. Um, they've been canceled across, a, you know, the whole globe, really. Um, but the implication for, like, migration and transportation is a much bigger deal here. Um, sorry, it's windy. Um, in the Pacific, for example, um, more so even than a lot of other much larger countries. So, and that's because a lot of things come in on, on planes besides people, um, supplies and whatnot. So, um, for example, uh, I'm in the Marshall Islands. I've been stuck here for about a month now. And their COVID testing kits um, have to go out to Hawaii. So the only way to get a test out from here is to send it on the United flight um, that comes a couple times a week to Hawaii. And now, because there's no flights going out and no one, you know, to Hawaii, uh, basically, if you need a test done, we don't know. Um, which is a problem now. So partially the issue of, of transit like affects a lot of things. So um, human migration. There's been a lot of questions and I study migration for climate change myself um, as a professor. And now the problem is that some people are stuck. So if you wanted to get from place to place sort of like myself, like home or other places that I was looking at, you can't because of the stoppage. But you have people trapped you know, in certain places that can't go home because now you don't have the flights. Um, here in the Marshall Islands, they have um, citizens, uh, some stuck in uh, Fiji, students that were sitting at USP, um, locals that were stuck in Hawaii who can't get back from their previous trips, um, and they're not repatriating them, like uh, chartering flights for them. Um, most consulates will uh, pay, uh, charter a flight back and get their citizens back. Now, the Marshall Islands was one of the last countries, just last year, given a seat in the Human Rights Council. So it's kind of a big deal to not be bringing your people home, which is a human right to be able to allow travel to and from your own country. And I know this is the pandemic, and I know that like these are like uncertain and crazy times, but most countries, even with their travel bans, are at least at minimum getting their people home to take care of family members and whatnot. Now we still don't have COVID here, so there's no reason to restrict travel of at least your citizens back, um, of all things. But this is this country's have one of the strictest travel bans on anyone coming in and out of here, which is why I've been stuck. So um, I will have a flight out at some point, but uh, the 13th of April is the next scheduled flight out with a 14th, one going one way, one going another. And then we don't know when there will be another flight out after that. Um, it's still unconfirmed. Now, Nauru Airlines flies here too, and they've also uh, been shut down completely, or I should say they've chosen not to fly anymore because again, we can't travel ban. So, you know, transit is one way this is very much affected in some of the ways that this has uh, gone down here. So I'll do a few more on how it affects a few other things, but yeah, my life on islands is a little bit of a full stop right now.